It is Friday and it is time for another DAX Fridays. This time I'm going to show you how to create a histogram from a measure. You cannot do that right away. You need some DAX. So let me show you. So this is how the data looks like. We have a table with a bunch of devices that generate events. So device one has three events, device two have two events. You can see there, device three have one, four, nine. And what we want to do is to have on the X axis, the number of events. So here is event one, event two events, three events, four events. And this is the number of computers that have one event, the number of computers that have two events, Right, so you turn everything around. Then you can see here that here appears one three times because three devices have had one event. So this is three devices with two events. We see them here, devices with three events here, and then five, six, seven, eight, there's nothing. Right, you, you get it, right? So you might think that you can just, I'm going to duplicate these and then go here and change it to a bar chart. But what it does is it takes the device and puts it into the x-axis. You cannot put events, so you cannot put a measure on an x-axis in a bar chart, unfortunately, because histograms are so useful. So how do you do it? Let me show you. Okay, so this is a clean file. The only thing I have is the measure that counts the number of events. So we know that device one had three events, device three had one event, device five. Mm -mm. So how do we do the histogram? What we need to do is to convert this measure into a column. It's the only way that you are going to get it. And to do that, we're going to use generate series. You may, might remember that. So let me show you. We go to Table Tools, create a new table, and we're going to call this Histogram. To be able to make this dynamic, what we're going to know to do is to count the maximum number of events in here. So the maximum number of events is nine. So we're going to create a variable that counts that. So when this table grows, it will still be able to produce a histogram automatically, which is quite nice. So this is max event, and this is a max x of our device ID. So for the list of device IDs, tell me what is the maximum number of events. This is what we're basically saying. Then return, and then we're going to use generate series is going to be from one to max event. So it is from one in this case to nine, which is our maximum event. If your list grows, it will be different. And then we're going to do it one by one. And what this does is basically creates a table with a column that we need. You see one to nine. If the number of events will change, the table will be bigger. Now that we have that, we can put this into a x-axis, as you can see. And here we're going to do show items with no data. And now we need to calculate the number of computers for each event. So we need to do a new DAX measure that will do that to be able to place it in the chart. OK, so what we're going to do now is we're going to virtually generate this table so we can count how many times these things happen. OK, so we're going to go to the DAX query and then we're going to do summarize and then we're going to do event, events device ID and then we're going to do um, event. This is a measure that is going to be the measure that we created before. And this is going to generate the table that we had before. If you have a lot of data, you might want to, instead of generate the column here, do add column. OK, but I don't have a lot of data. I don't care. So what we need to do now is to do a count of the column events. OK, I'm going to do now that in directly in the measure. We're going to go here, new measure. So this is going to be a variable, and this is going to be the event per device table. And we're going to do the summarize that we did before. So that's fine. But now we need to actually filter 
first. And we're going to filter, or not first, but after, because this is going to do inside out. So what we're going to do now is we're, we are going to filter by the events that come out here that are equal to selected value. And then is the histogram value, the values on this table? So histogram value. So this is going to identify when a number from here is equal to a number from there. And then what we want to do is count return. And then we're going to do count rows. And then we're going to count rows on that table. And if we put that new measure in here, it give us the histogram that we're looking for. Yay. Okay, so this is all. I hope that in the future, the visualizations can accept a measure as the X or Y axis. That would be very useful. Histograms are extremely useful to see how your data looks like. If you're going to be in your data or do this type of stuff, or just want to see the distribution of the data, it's so useful. But if you have to do this every time, it just probably won't do it which is a pity because it's, again, very useful. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you again in the next one.